Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create automatic captions and subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. So a quick look right here. This was all created using Adobe Premiere Pro. So that's what we're gonna be going over today. And let's get started on this. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete these tracks and start over. What you wanna do is you want to import your footage. I found this old style footage online and went ahead and imported it. When you have imported the footage, you then wanna go into the captions and graphics panel right here. I'm gonna go with Windows, Workspaces, right here is where it is. And sometimes you gotta hit that resaved, reset saved layout in case you move some things so that it's all in the same place and we can work from the same place. So once you hit captions and graphics, go over here and then go to the left here and hit transcript. So if there is nothing here, you'll actually have to transcribe the video. And to transcribe the video, usually you'll click this button right here in the center, transcribe sequence. You'll go to um, mix, which means that it'll grab all these audio tracks, but maybe you only want the audio track from number two or three or one. You can choose that right here. What language is it, is it trying to look at? You know, if I put, for example, Russian here, it's going to be trying to see those vocal syllables and try to guess Russian from them. So you need to know what language is being spoken to make sure that it is working properly. If you wanted to, for example, only do a portion of the video, you can make an in and out point and click this. And if there are multiple people speaking, you click that one and it'll try to separate the, the speech apart. You'll then hit the transcribe button. It'll take a little while sometimes, especially if you have a long piece of footage. But at the end, you'll get something like this where it's going to grab all of this stuff and put it together like so. So then, once you have both of these ready, you are now ready to click the Create Captions button. When you click Create Captions, you can give a, a default setting here. For example, if you're creating actual captions that are going along with the video, uh, CEA, CEA 608 and CEA 708 are what you want. 608 is SD, 708 is HD. If you want it to be a subtitle, which means it's burned onto the video itself, then use Subtitle. Let's say we want to create a caption, so we're going to use that click service one. If you wanted to give it a style, here's where you would do that as well. And then this is a, you know, a maximum length and characters between each one of them, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, double or single lines. If you want, for example, a, uh, you're creating something for a Netflix type thing, uh, uh, an actual theatrical release, or even just YouTube, double is where you want. Single is good for social media on a smaller phone. It's gonna need to be have bigger text and quick things that your mind can pick up on. There's no time to read tiny little text on a phone, so then you might want to go that. You might want to go to single. We're gonna click create. It's gonna create the captions for us. And pretty much at this point, we're done unless we want to make some edits. And you're probably gonna have to make edits. And overall, this one did pretty good. For example, you can see right here. Let's say he didn't say boom right. Let's say that it was B-O-N, boon, instead of boom. What you do is you can double click on that point. What's great is as you're, by the way, going here, it's going to be scrolling along the side here so you're really quick. So for example, like I said, let's say that he didn't say the right thing. You click on that, you move in here, and you can make that edit, click away, and now you'll see that when we get back to this, it says boon instead of boom. So it's very quick to edit. If you'd like to change the appearance of your subtitles, uh, in particular, most of the time, the subtitles are pretty base style, but you can change their appearance. If you go over here, you'll see that we don't have a lot of options. We can choose where they go and how they're centered, but nothing like, um, for example, size or anything like that, because this is a standard on how you would actually apply these subtitles. So you can't manipulate the standards. Now, if we went back to the transcript and we hit create captions, and instead we went to subtitle default, created that one, it's gonna actually create a separate track. And what's cool, it'll actually hide the track beneath it when you create two. With subtitles, when you click on them, you actually will have a lot more uh, uh, stuff to work with. And then honestly, this one actually didn't work. I misclicked. Uh, transcript, create captions. Um, you wanna make sure that the format is subtitle, not EBU subtitle. So we needed the subtitle default right there. Create. Once we have it created, when we click on this, you'll see now we have fill and stroke and background and we can make the size bigger and, and things like that. So if you want all of those, you need to create subtitles and actually burn them on. Otherwise, you can use the captions like so. Last step, what you want to export these captions to be able to be used. You can go here uh, into this little button up here along. Make sure you're selected on the proper one, 7081, 7081. Click export to SRT file, and you can then export it to whatever file you would like. Another way to do it is if you go to file and then export media. So export then down to media. Wait a second for this to, to pop up. There we go. 
Once it has popped up, you will then be able to go over to captions, export options, create start sidecar file, and then go down into whatever format you want. When it renders it out, it'll also create the captions right to the side of it. So you can have them right there. But that is how you quickly and efficiently make Premiere Pro create the sidecar or the captions uh, for your video and your, your, your audio. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more of this, similar this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, everyone, see ya.